projectors then. And what I did is I took all the videotapes and I cut them up so, like, and it'll say what it is. You know, here's a stance. And then it'll go to a guy in a stance. And then it might have a real game film. So this is the best thing I've ever put together. I mean, it's still my shit. You may not agree with it. But if, if you, when you get done with this, you'll know exactly everything I know. Okay? Because I don't know any more that I'm going to show you on this film. If you got a question, bring it up. All right? So that's what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from whatever it reads up there. Right? So I'll be sitting down. It'll be showing on film. And we'll have a little discussion. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. Now, what I'd like to do is... If it takes me till 9.30 to do it, we'll do it. You can get up and leave any time. We would say take one break. Say sometime around 8.15, take a break. So you're going to get bored. If you're not a line coach, you might as well get the fuck out of here because you're going to hate every fucking minute of it. Right? I'm just telling you, it's going to be the most boring shit you ever had in your life, right? So whatever. All right, here we go. We ought to close the doors because whoever comes in will be behind and it'll be whatever. All right, now let's just see what, what I'm doing here. All right, let's... And we're not going to look at every. I might fast forward because it gets boring, right? All right. Stance, butt shift, all right? What you're going to look at is the stance I, sh I, I teach and how we shift the butt and all those things, all right? So I'm going to try to go to the uh, the best ones, and uh, I won't be doing a lot of this around. We'll just try to, Okay, now, we got to turn the lights down, though, okay? Are they going? Lower? Or just a little bit more. Just an RCH. It's a red cut here. A little bit more. All right, no, no, too much. Down, down, down. Is that okay for everybody? Okay, all right, now let's start. Just the stance, all right? All right, now, I like a narrow base, all right? When I used to coach, I used to have them so narrow that the balls were aching. And I just, they just said, Jim, my, my balls are falling off here. So, so what I'm saying to you is, this is my opinion. The narrower you can get, but still have uh, turn the knees in, you know, so you're not bowed out. You can make, and, and some people will disagree with me, and that's fine, right? That's why there's 28, 30 flavors. The narrower your base, the crisper steps you can take. And I let my guys get away with a wide base, wide base, and I found out they weren't blocking as good. Now you'll notice this guy's got all his weight on his insteps. We make all our blocks off the insides of our feet. So you'll notice this guy's feet aren't perfectly straight ahead. So if he's pushing off with either foot, he's pushing off the instep, right? Uh, okay, now you'll see the stance, right? Now, I used to teach this arm right here to go outside the knee and squeeze the knee in, you know what I mean? So that elbow isn't out there, but I don't think it really matters. I don't necessarily care what they do with that arm. I have him reach that arm out. This, guy, this guy's got pretty long, long arms. Corbin will see he's a good player. I have him reach this arm out and put the fingertips on the ground. And, and what I'm saying is the further you reach the arm out, the more you can pull the weight back. So the defense doesn't know if you're going to pass or run. So the arm is right underneath them, right? So you can see that that is a fairly narrow base. They're kind of ducked here because we push off the insteps. All right, because that's where we feel the push is. All right, now watch the ass shift. All right, what we tell them is, all right, if you're gonna, if you want to make a move with that foot right there and put all the weight, we just turn the butt slightly. That puts the majority of the weight over that knee, over that ankle, so I have very little weight, okay, on that foot. So I can move that foot. All right, the weight's over here. All right, now let's go a little further. All right, let's say I want to move the outside foot. All right. Okay, now watch, see how he's kind of shifting his weight inside, all right? Let's go to the next guy here. All right, now this guy here, he couldn't get in a narrower base, so this is fine. As long as his knees are kind of knocked, there's your power angles, you with me? All right, he's got more weight outside, all right? All right, let's, let's he's got his arms stretched out, his weight's on his insteps, okay? Let's take a look at it. All right, now here's a good one right here. There's the weight shifted inside. You see how his booty shifted inside? He can push off that foot and move that foot, okay? So, see how he's got the arm reached out? Whatever, all right? Now let's go to a center stance, all right? Now our center is short, about 6'1", our quarterback's 6'5". So let's go with uh, what we think a center should be if he's flexible. Look how narrow his base is, all right? But he's not awkward, all right? So our quarterback can get up on him either. He's still got knee bend. He can still get the ball out in front of him, right? So when you put your center's base too wide, it puts him too low. This is a natural base for the 
for, for the center. He's got the ball stretched out. See, I take these guys out in the field and I make them do shit. And they do what I'm on that thing and we video them. Because they, they don't allow me to go out with them for whatever reason. Because it takes away from mini camps. All right, now, stands, right? All right, let's go to the next thing now. Let's go over levels, all right? got to find my... Let's go over... All right, now... How, where do you line up? On the ball, off the ball, all that stuff, right? Now, there's four levels that I've fooled with over the years, but I don't make it too complicated. I watched the Green Bay Packers, probably the best team in football. Uh, you know, maybe Denver was this year, but they are bad. They are way off the ball for whatever reason. Sometimes you can be on the ball, sometimes off, sometimes way back. There's another, and you don't have to use all these levels, but maybe it'll give you an idea, right? So levels... Uh, where do you line up? All right, so we'll give you an example. All right, these are the. This is the garden tackle coming up to the ball. All right, fingertips on the heels of the center. You see that? That's back. That is actually legal as long as you graze the waist of the center right about there. You can be that far off the ball in our league. All right. So let's say you're playing a slamming team. You want to go in and scoop on the next guy. Uh, you got a wide rusher. Whatever the reason, that is as far back as we'll allow off the ball. But the aiming point is the fingertips on the center's toes, right? I'm sorry, center seals. That's back, right? All right, let's go to the next point. And I always make them walk up to the ball. All right, now that's on the ball. Take a look at it. On. They say we're on. I'm on. We're both on. Who knows? You can crowd that ball, that near tip, and they won't even call that right there. Even though you're not supposed to be past that edge right there, that's on the ball. All right, what would you want to be on the ball? You want to take on a guy short? Uh, we like to, let's say you're going to double team with the center. If you knew you were on a double team with the center, the left guard's better getting close up on the ball because the center is always on the ball. If these two got, if, if they were going to double team, it's easier for a pulling guard on the other side to come across and trap somebody. Whatever the reason is, that is on the ball, okay? And you, these guys can do this shit. It isn't like fucking, uh, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, like fucking calculus. You just said, get up on the ball a little further, right? So we see back, right? Now let's go to the next level, all right? If you don't know where to line up, fingertips on the center's toes, right? That's off the ball. That's probably an area, if you don't know where to line up, boom, all right? So we've got on, off, or back, all right? All right, now, let's do it again. There's another group, all right? Now, let's see how smart you guys are. What level is that? On the ball, very good, all right? All right, let's go to another one, all right? What's that level? Off the ball, fingertips on the center's toes, all right? All right, now, back, okay? This is where Green Bay lines up. Maybe a little further, and they can play the whole game like that, okay? And you, you, you talk to their line coach, and he'll tell you why, whatever, okay? Now, all right, now, let me show you. This is the old days of the Bengals. See what happened when I said the best I've ever done? I had to go back fucking years to find this shit. All right, do you see this here? Their helmets are on the shoulder of the center. I used to say when you don't know where to line up, that's where you line up. Take a look at it. Because it's not way on, it's not way off. I kind of disbanded that area. That's semi, okay? So let's go back real quick, right? Just in review, and this shit made, you know, there's on the ball, right? We discussed that one, right? There's off the ball. We know where back is, and then this, there's back, right? We got all that stuff. And that was an area where we had semi, okay? You figure out why you want to be there, right? One guy doesn't have to be, they both don't be have to be at the same level, all right? Questions? Good. All right, now let's go to the next thing. This is 1970 film, right? For whatever reason, I'm just showing that this guy's further up than that guy, okay? And for, you know, let's say we're running the stump. This is a tackle end game, a tackle end. This guard's up on the ball, he's back. It's easier for the tackle to switch it. He's off the ball. He's up on, he's back off. These are levels, right? I gotta go quickly, all right? Now, now this is an end tackle stump. This guard's a little more vulnerable here to get picked. If he's back and he's up, you know, these are some problems, all right? Okay, now here's an example of them, uh, whatever. See him get picked? I'm trying to show that if you're having a trouble with an end tackle stunt, for whatever reason, your guard may end up being too close and he may be back too far, okay? So just kind of talking about, now they're both at the same level, all right? Whatever, okay, let's just move on, okay? All right, splits. Here's how we adjust our splits. Whether you pre-shift, you know, whether you get up and shift or you get up whatever. This is the way we do it, okay? And I have not done a good job. I've known this for 20 years and I haven't done a good job of it, all right? But I'm trying to do a better job of it. We all come up and we try to take a two-foot split, okay? So we get spacing. 
Then I tell the guards, whoever you're going to work with, move next to them. Okay? So if you move in next to the center, you're going to work with them. But they don't know if it's a front side double team or a back side zone block. Have I lost anybody there? You'll say, well, fuck, we know what you're doing. Well, you don't know if I'm double teaming on the onside or I'm zone blocking on the offside. Okay? So let's show them the basic splits, right? So we'll come up with a line like this, and we will take whatever that split is, right? Say that's a two-foot split, whether it is or isn't, right? That's our splits, right? Here they come. Two-foot split, all right? Left-handed stance. All right, now, watch this. Here's how, get the spacing so you don't shrink the hole. All right, now see what he did? He let him get his spacing. He moved down, okay? We still have the same amount of space. You don't know if he's going to double team on the nose and we're going to go over here, or he's going to zone block him and we're going over there. Okay? So you can talk about splits all your life, but the way to do it is to move the guard. Because if you move the tackle down next to the guard, everything is tight. You have no running lanes. Okay? All right, now let's take a look at it again. He's coming up to the line. All right? He lets him get his spacing. Okay? All right? There he goes. He moved in. All right? Now let's see when he does it the other way. Okay? Gets up, gets his spacing, he moved out. All right? Now, you don't know if they're on a backside zone block on a three technique or a front side double team on a three technique. But what he did is he got closer to this guy. Okay? Or a front side zone block. Okay? There he goes. Okay? Is there any questions on uh, your splitting? How we teach the splitting? Okay? Then how does moving the guard help that, um, <coughs> that ET stunt? Moving the guard would help the ET stunt. If you do an ET stunt, the guard would get closer to the E that's coming into him. That's got nothing to do with our levels, though, right? Okay. All right, now let's go. The, be the very best drill that I do, if you said, give me one drill, blocking, fucking, sticking your face in, killing people, this next drill is the best drill I do. All I emphasize, and sometimes, you know, you look at my film and say, well, shit. See, this is all good shit for coaches that don't know anything else but coaching. You see what I mean? Whether the players do all these things or not, you get off on it. This is your shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, you maybe tell me something. I look at your film and I say you're full of shit. You know what I mean? But you like it. This is my best stuff. What we emphasize is a wide base. Everything we do is a wide base. So I make them operate forward, backward, sideways with exaggerated weight on their insteps, with a bent knee, just like you're a linebacker in a breakdown position. But we do this thing so much, you'll see us hit a sled. As soon as they hit something, the feet spread wide, all right? This is just an attitude. And I call it the duck. I got this from Ernie Zwallen and all. The demeanor, okay? And we're on our insteps with body control. So we're not gonna watch all of these, but we'll, we'll get into a couple of them here. Right now, this is back at the Bengals. All right, you'll see the knees are kind of in, the weight is on the insteps, you got a base, all right? Here's a demeanor, all right? An attitude of what, as you're blocking, okay? Uh, we'll let it move here a little bit, but that, that knock knee power angle instep is the deal, all right? Now, all right, now here's a guy, all right? Now, what we do is we get him in a football position. I like to have his hands even higher than that. I tell him to move his feet, right? Now, I move him laterally, right? And when I move him laterally, I actually watch how close his feet move. I don't know how well this guy will do, but you see, his feet aren't too bad. You see short steps? Now, watch. Not, not too, a little too big, but watch, watch the attitude of the knee bend. The knee bend. Now, watch when he goes backwards. Body control. You see the base? Now, watch when he comes forward. When he comes forward, what he doesn't do is cross over. He stays on that demeanor, but he's going full speed now. This is one of those slow, waste time type waddle drills, right? All right? And we do this over and over and over again and again. This is my So laterally, laterally, laterally would be like pass blocking. Forward and backwards would be body control that you would use. All right, now watch it. Watch when he comes forward, all right? Okay? See, everything, high hands, the hands are high, right? Just a wave drill, all right? All of them, all right? Boom. Base, 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 right? Now here's a little bit later. Now watch the base here. See it? Okay. Now this guy's got a good base here. We won't watch it. Now his feet are short. I like it. Not a lot of recent, all right, now, all right? 
There you go. Boom, boom, boom. All right? You hit a guy, you'll be lower, but that's how wide your feet is, Bernard Daphne. Okay. You just have to shake their hands at one time, going side to side. Side to side. They should be moving their hands. Uh, this guy's not, but let's see if this guy does. Okay? Move. There you go. Well, they can move faster, I guess. But anyway, uh, let me freeze that here. Uh, is there any questions on uh, that thing? Now, let me put on this thing. This fucking wearing me out here. I hate to... I don't like these things, sir. We're going to go for three hours like this. You see what I mean? So if you got to leave, go now. You're going to be bored as shit now. I ain't going to stop, right? All right? I don't want it in my pocket. It fucks me up. All right. All right, now, let me go. Let me just go to... I'm not going to keep changing this stuff here. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this for a minute. Okay. I'm going to change. All right, now, is there any questions about this drill? And any... Anybody got a question why I use it? No. It's question. How much arm pump do you want to see on the forward, backwards? Just like this. How much more can you do? <laughs> well, I'm serious. He's moving his hands, right? Hand side. Okay. All right, now, now, watch this. This is, now, after I've got through wearing them out, this is me as the coach. That's not me doing this drill. You know, I do it with all of them. Then I say, okay, partner demeanor. All right, now that, then I then I have them do it as a partner. And I says, now make it quicker. All right, you see them here, 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 forward, backward. Then I have the guy attack them. And I tell the blocker, put one run and one pass block on. It's just kind of a forearm drill, a warm-up drill, whatever, right? So this is the partner demeanor. This is after, after they get one run and they get one pass, all right? But notice that, that everything is with the base, all right? So he'll get hands are moving, all right? He's got lateral movement, all right? He's got a wide base going backwards. Pump the iron, boom, all right? So they go from the wide base, forwards, backwards, uh, whatever, and they keep the base on, all right? All right, now here's a kid, Paul Janis here. I think his coach is here. Now, what he's doing.